to host the nation. And you can still see darkness in there. information to report. While these doors appear to have been opened recently, they are now sealed shut by a powerful unidentified force. Okay, so I can't go through there. just to get down there if I just jumped off from here and used the sailcloth to just float down. But I guess I... Oh! Yeah, there you go, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Getting used to it. Got a stamina fruit. This peculiar fruit replenishes your stamina gauge. Right here. I don't think I can do anything with those. Just pick up fruit. Go around. Can I just. Yeah. Just do this right here. This saves time. I guess I gotta approach the thing right there. Young one. Child of destiny. Descended. From the sky. Raise the sword of the goddess skyward. Take aim at the evil aura and unleash its power.
Master Link, I am sensing a change in the area that was triggered by your Skyward Strike. I have also detected an aura that correlates closely to your sailcloth. I surmise this aura belongs to Zelda. I can lead you in the direction of this aura through a process known as dowsing. Would you like me to explain this process to you? <laughs> well, might as well. As you wish, Master. Dowsing is when I detect the presence of the aura of something you wish to uh, excuse me, of something you wish to sh uh, search for. For using the tip of the sword. The nearer you are to an object uh, emitting the aura in question, the stronger the response will be. This response manifests itself through vibration and sound. The direction of the object emitting the aura is indicated by the purple pointer you see. Zelda's face is on it. Hold up and select Zelda as your dowsing target, then point in the direction you wish to search. Okay. temple. Who is this? Ah, the traveler descended from the clouds above. I welcome you, child of fate. My big hat. Tell me, what is your name? Link? Ah, Link. Good. Very good. I sense you've already gained control over the sacred power that fills your sword when pointed skyward. The skyward strike is yours to command. It is proof that you are fit to bear the blade you carry, the goddess sword. I have sat here for many years, waiting for you to arrive. All so that I could fulfill my purpose as your guide. You stand, uh, excuse me, you stand under the, uh, <laughs> excuse me again, you stand under the roof of the sealed temple, a place built by the goddess an, an eternity ago. Your arrival here was predestined many, many years ago. The spirit maiden you seek arrived here shortly before you, descending to this land in a shower of light. There's no doubt in it, the gears of fate have begun to turn. Yet all is not uh, yet all is not as it should be. The spirit maiden was not meant to reach this land in the manner uh, in the manner she did. I feel an evil power working in the shadows. It moves to work the destiny of which you two are a part. Link, you are concerned for the spirit maiden and seek her whereabouts. Yes, that is understandable. But for now, you must focus on moving forward. That girl has her own purpose she must pursue, as do you. 
She set out for Faron Woods to discover that destined for herself and you must follow. Faron Woods was not in Twilight Princess. Show me your map. The X upon your map marks the path that will lead you to Faron Woods. You will be traveling in unfamiliar land. Many monsters have settled here, and a map may not prove guidance enough for your journey. And so I will give you the power to create beacons. When a beacon is marked on your map, a column of light will stand at that location. It will act as your waypoint from afar. Point at the X and press A to pla uh, place a beacon. Okay, point, place, and that's it. Though he, uh, excuse me, though you cannot see it from where we are, a beacon stands outside to guide you. Leave the temple through the front doors and see for yourself. When you, uh, when you, uh, excuse me, when you no longer have use for a beacon, you can remove it from your map by pressing A. Use your beacons well, and you will never fear getting lost. Go now. You must head into Faron Woods and chase after the Spirit Maiden, the one you call Zelda. On your way out. Take the contents of the treasure chest within this room. What you find there should prove useful to you on your journey. She's got like a pendulum. <laughs> it's more or less her hair is shaped like a pendulum. You are ready. Leave through the door before you and head into the woods. I wish you safe travel. Know that all the questions you have now will be answered in time. For now, Link, go bravely. That's our goal. Okay, let's see what this item is. Wait, did I go for the item? I went out the temple. There's the beacon that I placed. Uh, she said there was a chest here. Let's see. Oh, we got a save point right there. Yeah, I don't think I see a chest anywhere. Just jars. Meow. It's a cat. your shield, gauge, and also restores four hearts. Uh, so I gotta wait to heal my shield uh, health, or repair it, right? So this is what you were talking about. Okay. I guess that was it. Go straight to the woods. Oh, Gorons. Or a Goron. Out of the way, scram. Rescue me, bud. Just who were those red pests? I did not expect to run into a pack of them in this peaceful forest. Same goes for you. This is the second time I bumped into one of your kind today. I tell you, all sorts of weird things are going on lately. I owe you big for taking care of those guys, so let me tell you something fascinating. A statue? Uh, 
Hey bud, I'm Gorko the Golan. I am researching the ancient history of these woods here. According to the ancient texts, there is some kind of place up above the uh, up above called the Isle of the Goddess, far up in the sky. Apparently, these old statues serve as landmarks to those traveling up to the sky or down from the Isle of the Goddess place. If you find one, be sure to examine it to keep tab on the number of landmarks. They are rumored to be quite useful. Supposedly, this statue is special, as it is said to have the, uh, to have the ability to activate all the other statues. Mm. The whole thing sounds a little crazy, I know, but I for one believe it to be true. Otherwise, why would all these statues be here all over the place? It is a real head scratcher, but it makes you want to know more, does it not? <laughs> yeah, right. Ah, sounds like I have a fellow connoisseur of ancient cultures here. Alright, bud. You'd better brace yourself, because I'm about to blow your mind. So get this, people actually live on this sky island, and they get around by flying on the backs of huge birds that are way bigger than the birds down here. Up there, everyone reveres the goddess, and the residents of all the islands in the sky live in a perfect society, totally free of conflict or unhappiness. Not only that, but from what I can tell, their civilization is way, way more advanced than ours, down here. But it does not even stop there, but this Isle of the Goddess has even more stuff to marvel at. The place was crafted by the goddess herself, so it figures that it is filled with wonders we do not have here. The buildings are all made of gold. An endless spring of mystical water feeds a river through the place. One sip of that stuff and you'll live forever. The trees are heavy with plump fruit. That cure all uh, that cures all diseases or all disease. The fields are crowded with pumpkins that never rot. Magic wild flowers bloom ev uh, everywhere. And the weather, oh the weather, but not too hot, not too cold, not a chance of sweaty heat in this garden paradise. That is the Isle of the Goddess. Mm. Amazing, right? Wrong? It is beyond amazing. Mm. You want to hear more about it, don't you, bud? <laughs> well, he's from there. I don't want to be rude, but... <laughs> well, maybe one more, right? <laughs> Good to hear, bud. I'm completely obsessed with this place. I cannot get enough of it. I wish I had more to tell you now, but I will need to research these statues to learn more. Okay, so I guess you're not going to keep talking. Next time I bump into you, I will give you the latest info. But for now... <laughs> oh, I got that gem. But for now, just uh, keep going. Whoa! What in the world just happened? Did you use some kind of magic? The statue reacted the moment you got near it, but how crazy is that? That's because he's from the uh, island in the sky. Behind the temple. To the sky? So this can take me back to Skyloft. I'm just gonna save. Goro. What was that? I just saved. The statue just reacted to you. What did you do? Come on, do not make a big guy big. I have to, I've got to know. Okay, I have to examine the statue further, but who knows what I might find out. Okay, well, it's nice meeting you. Guess I'll be on my way. Master, now that you've accessed the stone statue, you can return to the sky at will. Furthermore, ah <laughs> yeah, then she's mentioning the amiibo. Furthermore, by using a certain amiibo sp uh, figure, you can return to the sky from anywhere on the surface and come back to where you left. And that's the controversy right there that you have to purchase this amiibo to access this feature. <laughs> Please call me any time you would like to use an amiibo. I don't have any amiibos. <laughs> You can also enable or disable amiibo usage from the options. Yeah, I don't really have amiibos. Well, I mean, I guess they're... I guess they're what? <laughs> I guess it would be kind of cool to have those things, but I mean, I don't really have them. Probably just like to have them as like collectibles more than just uh, just these things that you can uh, use to unlock features. Say just that. I mean, I, I, bet, I bet it would be co uh, cool just to use those things. Okay, 
let's see. Uh, not reacted to anything that I'm doing. Master, you've entered Farron Woods. Plentiful water in this region clearly sustains a large diversity of flora. It is logical that the lush plant life and what resources have attracted animal species to the region. Dowsing ability uh, to search for her. And another city statue. There's a green one. I didn't even know they came in green. Don't hurt me, Kuweep. Kuweep. Did you just call me a creep? Okay, so that little guy's just scared. There's a skull somewhere. Yes, stamina. And there he is. Um, little guy 
guys right there. Huge rock. Let's see anything cool. Statue right here. Oh, let me save back here. What are we doing here with the saving? anymore. They'll probably go back up to Skyloft and buy another one. Nothing I can talk to you. It spotted me again. Quee. Just plain dead or pretending to be a plant. Huh? You don't want to eat me? Quee. Come to think of it, why did you fight off all those red monsters? I'm Machi. I'm a Kikwe. You seem okay, even though you're scary. Thanks for helping me. Yeah. That's weird, Kiko. A little while ago, I ran into another funny animal like you. But that one was a girl. Zelda? What's a Zelda? I don't know who this girl was, Kukui. But she was in a bunch of trouble when I saw her. Of those mean red guys were at her, Kui, but she escaped with the uh, Kikui Elder. Be scared of it. Here's Gata. Master, we've attained new information on Zelda's current status. This information indicates that she was assailed by monsters, but somehow evaded capture. However, I infer that she is still in significant j uh, danger. I have marked the position of, the, of uh, the Kikwe known as Machi. Please confirm your location. Furthermore, my analysis suggests that this Kikwe most likely produces a false positive dowsing reaction due to the previous direct contact with Zelda. Using this hypothesis, I theorize. There's an 85% chance that this, uh, the, uh, excuse me, the uh, Kikui Elder will also generate a dousing reaction for the same reason. I propose you continue dousing to search for Zelda. You really spooked me, Kui. You keep some very strange company, friend. Keep a leap. It sounds like you're set on finding this friend and the Elder. If you're heading that way anyway, Kui, would you mind telling our elder that I'm safe? Cheer up, go weep. I bet your friend is safe with our elder. Okay. Is this in this direction? No, I don't think so. This is probably back to where I was. Of course, I guess I just created a shortcut. an amber relic. These amber colored trunks of precious stone are found everywhere. No one knows where their strange shape comes from. Okay, here we go. Yes. Gets a little closer to upgrading a shield. Assuming if I can get another one. I see another to see how this works. So I need to go back to <laughs> get a shield. Do you want to return to the sky? Oh, I 
what's this? What is it that my eyes behold? Oh, young man, what calamitous visions appear before me? You may choose not to believe me, but my eyes foresee a hazardous, thorny road ahead for you. But I can foresee what will befall you, for I am a fortune teller. Trust my piercing eyes. Listen to my pure and innocent voice. I will do you no harm. Gaze deeply into my eyes and come closer. Great. <laughs> Tell me to come closer. Okay, let me at least get the shield. Aha! That's a wooden shield. You can use it to block and repel attacks. You must be careful though, as it will break if it takes too much abuse. Great. Oh, and don't forget about fire. It will burn quite easily. And it's uh, it's unfortunate prop uh, properly. <laughs> it's an unfortunate property of wood. It could be yours for fifty rupees. Care to buy, friend? Well, I'm in need of a shield. Yeah. Right, good excuse to come back here. The customer is always right. If you have any doubts about the durability of your shield, I suggest you have it examined at the scrap shop. Provided you take good gondo there, the necessary treasures and the like, he will happily upgrade your items. And it's giving me some happy mask salesman vibes. Right, only because he's just he's just uh, smiling. He's up top this creepy looking fortune teller. Gaze into my eyes, stare deeply into my eyes. These eyes uh these eyes see many things. Oh yes, these lovely round eyes can see uh, can even see into the future. Allow me to tell your fortune boy. Do you doubt these eyes? I look upon your shirt, boy, and I see a single thread loose in your sleeve uh, on your sleeve stitching. Nothing can hide from these eyes. Normally I see ten rupees to tell a fortune, but this time I will charge but one rupee. Oh, that's good. So do you want me to tell you your fortune? Do you dare cross what fate these eyes see? Only one rupee. Sure. Yes, I knew it. Aha, what a treat. You are the first customer I've had in a while. Oh, I mean, I'm the best at what I do. Oh, you kind of let that slip right there. You can trust these glistening eyes. Very well, let me see what I can see. Yes, your fortune, it's all coming into focus now. Aha, uh -huh. I see many things, all is revealed. Young man. You're about to head into a densely wooded area, somewhere blanketed in green, yes. Ah, my eyes, they see all. Trees, everywhere, yes, many trees. It would serve you to, uh, well to buy a wooden shield before you travel. I already did that. I can see that you're a bit young and green yourself, so it couldn't hurt to take a heart potion with you. That's all I can see for the moment. My eyes, they grow, we uh, they grow weary. Come see me again if you should lose your way. Good luck, young man. Okay, so he's just there for uh, for hints and stuff like that. Okay, so I need to replenish the shield's health whenever, uh, whenever I can. There we go, superhero landing. Okay, so I'm back here now. Okay, so I gotta go over here, maybe. Bubba. Great. There's a problem with this. Okay, right, I got fixed it. I kinda wondered, can I push? Well, pick up and possibly throw, right? So far, I'm draw myself out. Okay. I want to avoid 
getting getting some of that. Just having the heal take the damage. scrub in this direction. Like the tree? But how do I get up to the tree? Huh. I need to deflect uh, Deku scrub. Not Deku nut uh, projectiles with the shields. So the way you spotted me through my genius camouflage, Queen. You are clearly a master woodsman. Is that a swordsman? Where's Zelda? Zelda. Ah, the girl with the blonde hair. She looked like one of your kind. Yes, she was with me, Queen. But now is not the time for such talk. The woods are full of monsters. I am worried about my missing tribe. Kui, the shock and worry has made my memories of the girl quite hazy. Say so you can ask for help. What? You say you've met some of my people, Kui? Kui, so much is safe, eh? Ah, uh, but the monsters, they are still lurking in the forest. I don't dare leave this spot. Three Kikwis are still unaccounted for. Could you... Uh, excuse me, could I ask you to search for them? And make sure they are safe, Kui. I am worried sick for my uh, fellow Kikwis. If you could calm my fears, I might be able to remember more about where the girl you went, uh, where the girl you seek went off to, Kui. Uh, 
Learning that Zelda's long ah, oh, excuse me, learning that Zelda is no longer with the Cake Wave leaders uh, is an unfortunate setback, but he may still have useful information. Taking this into account, I calculate an 85% uh, probability that your quest will be aided if you find the lost Kikwis for the altar. To expedite your search for these forest dwelling cre uh, creatures, I have added Kikwis as a dousing option. Do you need me to explain how to switch dousing targets? Additionally, I will mark any quick ways you discover on your map and disable dousing readings for them. That way, you will not revisit the same quick ways. This concludes my explanation. When ready, please begin your search for the missing quick ways. That's the one that I just found. Eat me, I taste terrible. Let me go, Kui. Huh? The elder was worried about me? I'm glad to hear he's safe, Kui. I'm Ulu. If you meet the elder, tell him I'm here. Keep a leap. I don't know if it's safe yet. I'm going to stay here a while longer and wait for those monsters to go away. Guess this is your hiding spot? Setting spot with that one big fruit. Okay. Where else to look is the question. What direction? Go. That direction right there. Guess there's this little cross place, uh, space right there. Monsters over here.
really need to practice that figure blow uh, technique. Okay, that direction. I guess this will be the last thing I do then. <laughs> just find these little guys and then just uh, stop. See it. It's right there. Oops, great. Oh. One time where you only need to swing the analog stick to swing the sword. bomb things right there. Oh, and that's gonna mess me up. Oh, oh great. Great. Okay. So, got rid of the uh, explosives. He's got a bandana. And a horn. Skull, the simple, uh, excuse me, the simple, slightly macabre fashion statement bears the Bokapa symbol. Okay, guess I did remember seeing one, but I guess it disappeared. Did I kill the bandana one? It's a different color one. Oh, you got a golden skull. A real rarity among skull ornaments. It shines with an eerie golden color. Oh, lucky me. Found the golden one. There we go. King Queen. All those red guys, so does that mean you're a good guy? See, I've got this problem. My legs have turned to jelly, and I can't get down. Think you could help me? Uh, excuse me, think you could help me, Queen? No, I just. Let's see, do I just do that? <laughs> Obviously. Oh, that had to hurt. Face plant. Probably didn't like that. Ouch, that was, uh, effective. Anyway, thanks to you, I'm safe, Kipalip. Really? The Elder was worried about me? 
Well, I'm glad to hear he's sick, Quico. My name's Lapsa. If you see the elf here, can you please tell him where I am? Oh, Quee, my legs are still shaking. Okay, so, it's another one. This is my way out, right? I went up that direction. Okay, I guess I gotta swing, right? Looks like it's... Discovered and here I thought I had a good hiding place, Kui. I'm Erla. You won't find another Kikui in these woods that's half as good at hiding as I am, except the elder, of course, Kui. I am not detecting any additional dousing responses in the area. I suggest you go speak to the Kikui elder. You met the elder? Yes, and he's okay. Yeah, glad to hear it, Queen. If you see him again, would you tell him I'm here? Okay, so that's all these little guys. That's all of them. Now, oh, time to do my outro. Well, I think I'm gonna stop right here for now and continue another time as usual. Alright then. Later. So my food kickweeds are well. And they want me to stop worrying? <laughs> Excellent. They know me too well. You have a real talent for finding whatever is missing, Kui. I don't know who you are or where you come from, but you have my thanks. Kui. I feel much less worried now. I believe I just remembered excuse me, I believe I just remembered where that young lady went. That young girl, Zelda, was that her name? Yes, it's all coming back to me. She said she had to travel to the temple deep in these woods, Kui. Oh ho, I tried to warn her about how dangerous it was there, but the clever little thing vaulted off my belly and ran off on her own, just the same.
direction. Ah, uh, over there. I think she headed down that way, toward the temple quick. But be sure to take care if you follow her. That area is crawling with monsters. Oh, I almost forgot to quit. As a reward for finding all my fellow Kikwis, I will give a precious Kikwi heirloom. Let me just fetch it for you right now, Queen. Pardon me a moment. Belly! As I almost fall on you. <laughs> he had a slingshot in his lower back area. Oh, let's stay over it. He got the slingshot. Use this uh, excuse me, use, the, uh, use this projectile shooting weapon to fling Deku seeds at your foes. The hard seeds will stun your enemies. Okay. With that slingshot, Kui, you should be able to find a path into the deep woods where that temple is. Did Zelda need that slingshot? Did she also get a slingshot of her own? And <laughs> she needs one to, you know, to find a path to that temple? Oh, well, keep, keep asking. Look at that little thing over there. Oh. To start, why not try shooting that curled up vine over there? Hold ZR to ready your slingshot, Kui. Then release ZR to let a shot fly. If you run out of ammunition, just grab some seed from the fruit. That tree uh, that grows over, uh, uh, excuse me, from the fruit that grows in the trees over there. Now go find that girl. I'll be rooting for you, Kui Hey Hey. First. Oh, she got your gyro right here. 